Hello everybody, welcome. This is my very first NXT review. Um, I am TV Hub Official One, and this is the review for the 23rd of October 2014. I know it's a little late here, but this is just took a while to get to recording. So uh, basically, we're going to go through the show, just point out main parts, um, run through the matches, and then give an overview at the end. And I'll just say how I'll compare it to other episodes. Since it's my first, I'll just get used to just recording. This sort of, and just commentating on this wrestling in general from WWE. So you can comment below whatever you think. Suggest other things to do on my channel, uh, other reviews or other TV shows you might want me to review, or just anything in general that you want me to review and talk about. Give your opinions on this episode as well. So without further ado, let's get to the episode. So our show begins with the former tag team champions, the Ascension, featuring Victor and Connor who are not happy with losing their tag team championships and two weeks ago we get a flashback of um, the, their rivalry with Adeo Tommy as they attack uh, a Tommy's manager uh, Hanaki uh, the Ascension face off against Ty Dillinger and Jason Jordan and the Ascension the Hunters are now in hunt for the tag team championships one of the commentators now mentions that it will be a tall order for Ty Dillinger and Jason Jordan to defeat the Ascension, who look very determined and angry after lo uh, losing their championships earlier on this month. And Jason Jordan starts off against Victor, and early on, Jordan taking a beating with t against the tag team champions, who Victor t tags over to Connor, and they do a shoulder block double and Connor is put in charge. Next, Ty Dillinger gets to the point where he can tag, be tagged in and but is flapjacked by Connor. Um, Connor tags again and uh, we get to the point where uh, Ty Dillon, uh, the Ascension set up for Fall of Man with a huge impact. Victor pins Ty Dillinger and to win the match after the fall of Matt, with the Ascension getting another win on their record. Next, Hideo Tami runs out to the ring, who the Ascension are having a feud with, and is trying to hurt the Ascension and defeat them, but it is a bad move for Hideo Tami, who is stamped down by the two of the Ascension, Connor and Victor, and is not thinking well, Hideo Tami is not, as the Ascension make another fall of man for a bad decision for Hideo Tommy. The Ascension seem even more focused than they have in a long time, even without the Tag Team Championships in their Tag Team run. After commercial break, we cut to our next match, which is C CJ Parker coming off two losses to face Tyler Breeze. The newly aggressive Tyler Breeze makes his way to the ring, and the match begins as Tyler becomes dominant early on with a kick off the top rope from Tyler Breeze with CJ Parker coming off the top rope and out to the outside. Once back in the ring, CJ Parker comes out on Breeze with lots of punches to the ground. In the background, we can see Mojo Rawley coming out to watch. He does not look happy, and it is certainly pointed towards CJ Parker. Tyler Breeze then counters uh, Parker and Hurricane Rana's him in the ring and is attacking him now in the corner as he pushes him into a defensive move. Breeze now counters many of Parker's uh, pin attempts and hits a beauty shot out of nowhere to Parker. Mojo Rawley stands there and looks into the eyes of Tyler Breeze and we don't know what is happening but it could be that he is trying to prove something by coming out here. Um, Breeze makes his way up the ramp and stares back at Mojo Rawley for several moments. Next, we have an inter interview backstage with Titus O'Neil being interviewed, and he says that he wants to abuse and damage Adrian Neville tonight and win back the NXT Championship for the first time. Our third match of the night is the Vonda Villains, featuring Adrian English, coming out to take on the Buddy Murphy and his partner Wesley Blake. Buddy Murphy starts off against Adrian English, and Adrian English tries to take over tagging to Simon Gotch, who puts down Buddy Murphy. As the match progresses, it is seeing great teamwork between Wesley Blake and Buddy Murphy, 
who perform clotheslines and like using strong hits. Simon Gotch is managing well and manages to take over, tagging over to Adrian English who tempts cover. Simon Gotch comes in attacking everyone and getting the arm of Buddy Madison and Adrian Min English is in is countered as Wesley Blake covers and attacks jumping off rope with a flying forearm. Although the Vondervillains manage to get back later on in the match to defeat Buddy Murphy and Wesley Blake. After another commercial break, NST continues as Bailey takes on Sasha Banks. Bailey requests that this match after being attacked by Sasha Banks after losing her women's championship match and then losing against Charlotte for the championship. Angry Sasha Banks and Bailey bring each other to the ground with a ferocious attack and Bailey hits a body slam followed by a knee drop off the rope. She pins but is knocked off at two. Trying to work down Sasha, she pulls Sasha into corner and then flies over rope to counter Sasha catches but Bailey with the boot and brings her to the ground from Sasha. Banks slaps Bailey and pins with a near fall. She then performs a submission maneuver on Bailey, trying to work her down. Bailey corners Banks again and performs a flying elbow after reversing these other ones, and another near fall ensues. Banks counters another move into a powerful submission. It could be Banks next in line for a women's title match against Charlotte. Banks gets the win and continues to attack Bailey after the match. After several seconds, Becky Lynch makes her way to the ring, knocking uh, Banks out of side and bringing Bailey to her feet before attacking Sasha from behind. Becky Lynch and Sasha Banks leave the ring together with a possible alliance. Next, we have a short backstage segment with Colin Cassidy and his friend, who announced that Carmella has a match against Emma. After another break, we get to our NXT Championship main event as Neil make Tyson O'Neill makes his way to the ring, facing off against Adrian Neville, the champion. This is another interesting mix of shows as Titus O'Neill from the main stage takes on Adrian Neville defending his NXT. Titus O'Neill is a big, strong person and there is a big size difference between the two. As the match begins, Neville tries to wear down O'Neill by using fast speed and flips, and but O'Neill just throws his, him around the ring like a ragdoll. Tyus O'Neill uses strong hits over Adrian Neville and hits him in the torso. Neville tries to overcome this by pulling O'Neill to the ground, but O'Neill just throws him over the top rope again. The commentators are not too promising for Neville, as this could be it, as Tyus O'Neill shows vast strength with his holes and strong hits, pulling him around the ring and controlling the match so far. And still under the hold of O'Neill, O'Neill again picks up Neville, holding Neville in place, uh, holding him up, and cutting off Neville's oxygen. Neville tries to fight his way out of his hold, and is stuck in here for a while, until he's making his way out, and runs around the ring, getting few kicks and strong hits on O'Neill. He hits him finally with a very good kick and brings O'Neill to the ground for a second before running over and attempting to get a dive but falling and rolling and being hit with a big boot by O'Neill. O'Neill pins Neville but Neville kicks out and after this Neville climbs the top rope and performs a flipping dive to retain the NXT Championship after using his powerful skills of hits and reversals on what Tyus O'Neill was trying to do. The crowd cheer as the resilient NXT champion Adrian Neville retains his championship and he makes his way out of the ring with the title in his hands. Hmm. The commentators predict he will have a long championship reign and after this Sami Zayn comes out on the ramp as Neville is about to leave and tells Neville he is on his mission for the NXT championship and Neville agrees to a match. Neville knows that Sami Zayn will not win, but Sami Zayn is sure the other the opposite is true. 
We then finish NXT, the show, with some packed moments of good matches and surprising and awesome moves, finishers, and moments all together. This sets us up nicely for our next show and gives us some new talent who could be looking forward to winning titles off other stars, such as Sami Zayn and Sasha Banks. It was surprising to see Becky Lynch turn on Bailey, and the Vonda villains are looking like a good tag team, as well as the Ascension, who are two good tag teams who look like they could be going on for a temp championship reign in the near future, or in indeed in the next year or so. The matches were of good quality, and the main event between Tyler O'Neill and Adrian Neville was a very enjoyable one with two completely different styles of wrestling and some great moments of in different matches of people flying out of the ring. It is good that the matches are not too long as so your attention span is not wasted and you do not look away and uh, because they have fitted in two um, outside uh, backstage segments and five matches shows that they're using a lot of talent on the show and the con commentators have good performances overall on the show as well. Thank you for watching my first episode of NXT, WWE NXT Reviews for the 23rd of October 2014. I hope you enjoyed, and I will also like to say that my Red Dwarf videos are going to be coming up in the near future, in the next few days, and f my other NXT reviews will be up weekly on either Sunday, Saturday, or Friday, hopefully, not like Tuesday, which will be today. So thank you for watching indeed and good night.